Can you take a guess on what today's video is about and where I am? I'll give you a little hint. One of the places is well known for its rich history and horses. The other place is well known for the most iconic golf course and tournament in the world. Also, the two places are divided by the Savannah River. Did you take a guess? Hey there, I'm Lindsay Vance with Real Broker LLC. And on today's episode, let's go over Aiken, South Carolina and Augusta, Georgia. They're commonly compared because they're actually right next to each other. So let's jump right into it. Now first, to give you an idea of where we are on the map between South Carolina and Georgia, it's actually known as the CSRA, which is the Central Savannah River area. It's the marketing and trading hub for South Carolina and Georgia. The CSRA is made up of 14 counties in the state of Georgia and seven counties in South Carolina. Now, instead of going broad throughout those counties, we're just gonna focus on Augusta, Georgia and Aiken, South Carolina. So you may have heard that Aiken, South Carolina has been named as one of the best small towns in the South. And now Augusta, Georgia actually gives you more of that city vibe. So how big are these towns and what's the population? Aiken covers more than 1,000 square miles for the county and the city itself is 21 square miles. The population is around 31,000 within the town of Aiken, but among the county, there's 170,000 people. Compared to Augusta, you have 306 square miles. Now that's due to its status as a consolidated city county. And because of that, the population for Augusta is upwards of 200,000 people. Augusta is actually the second largest city in the state, next to Atlanta, Georgia, of course. So to sum it up, Aiken County is larger, but Augusta actually has a higher population. Okay, so the million dollar question, what is there to do in Aiken or Augusta? If you've seen some of my videos before, you might already have an idea of things to do in Aiken. We've got Hitchcock Woods, which is one of the largest privately owned urban forests in the country with more than 2,100 acres for you to explore. There's also a ton of equestrian sports, golfing, Aiken State Park, and some great small business shopping. Now, if you're in the mood to go shopping and you're really looking for those big box stores and a ton of variety, you might have better luck going to Augusta. Don't panic. Aiken has Target, Walmart, TJ Maxx. Those places you might seem are essential, but you're really close to Augusta or even Columbia if you need to make the drive for something special. One of my favorite things about shopping in Aiken is most of them are locally owned businesses and boutiques. You'll always find something unique at these places. Now, moving on to Augusta, with it being so close to the Savannah River and the lake at Clarks Hill, you have so many water activities to pick from. Also, Aiken is surrounded by a few larger growing suburbs. So not only do you have options of activities in Augusta, but also the surrounding towns as well. You can spend a day on the water with kayak rentals from Savannah Rapids Pavilion, or paddling the river at the Augusta Canal, Betty's Branch is a popular spot, or even make it over to Finnezy Swamp. Now, as you know, Augusta is most famous for Augusta National Golf Club, where the Masters Golf Tournament takes place. It brings in more than 200,000 visitors every spring for that week of tournament. Not only do you have golf activities around Augusta, but we have top golf here as well. So if you're looking for something a little more amateur level, you can enjoy that activity with friends. If you're in the mood to go shopping around Augusta, there's a big mall plus shopping centers and downtown shopping. You pretty much have everything you can pick from spread out around Augusta. Okay, now I wanna to touch briefly on the medical facilities and healthcare in both areas. In Aiken, we do have Aiken Regional Hospital and Smaller Medical Park. However, if you're looking for more specialists and a broader option, you might wanna to go to Augusta. Augusta's medical district is huge and has tons of specialists to choose from. 
It's also home to the state's first medical school, also known as MCG, the Medical College of Georgia. Augusta also has Augusta University and Augusta University Cancer Center. You also have the Children's Hospital of Georgia, the VA Medical Center, and the University Hospital System. So not only does Augusta give you more options for medical care and facilities, but the medical expenses are actually 5.6% less than that in Aiken. But good news, if you live in Aiken and you wanna make that trip over to Augusta, it's a really easy short drive. How about housing affordability? Now, I'm not gonna deep dive into real estate statistics, but to just give you a general idea of the comparison between Aiken and Augusta's housing markets, it is a little bit more expensive to live in Aiken. For example, if you're looking at a home in Aiken around the $200,000 price point, you may have a similar property in the Augusta area for about $140,000. So overall, Augusta, Georgia is 30.9% less expensive than housing in Aiken. Now let's talk a little bit about the job economy in both locations. Aiken is well known as a retirement destination and also if you're looking to have a second home. So the job options are not abundant in Aiken. However, it's so centrally located that if you wanna live there, it's really an easy commute to either Augusta or up to Columbia. The largest employer in Aiken County is Savannah River Site with 11,200 combined employees. The work options at SRS include engineering, construction, technical services, and liquid waste management through Savannah River Nuclear Solutions and Savannah River Remediation. Augusta, Georgia is known for biotechnology, medicine, and military because of its proximity to Fort Gordon. Formerly known as Camp Gordon, Fort Gordon is a United States Army base, and it's the current home of the U.S. Army Signal Corps, the U.S. Army Cyber Command, and the Cyber Center of Excellence. Now, we all need a way to get to these places, right? So we're talking about transportation. Aiken does have an airport, but it's city-owned and there are no commercial flights going out of there. Instead, you'll want to go to Augusta to the regional airport. There are two commercial airlines that fly out of this airport, both Delta and American Airlines. The best part about the Augusta airport is there's only six gates, so it keeps it really low key, quaint, and easy to get in and out of. Now, if you're looking for more of a small town, easygoing vibe, or that big city growth and development, these are your biggest differences between Aiken, South Carolina, and Augusta, Georgia. Now, unlike most small towns, there are some suburbs around the Augusta area. You have Evans, Georgia, Martinez, Georgia, and Grovetown. These are growing and have great amenities within them without actually having to travel into Augusta. Now, if you're in Aiken, you definitely have those small town vibes. We do have towns around Aiken, but if you are looking for those amenities like shopping, dining, or anything at big box stores, you are going to be traveling into Aiken. If you're in the Aiken area, you definitely don't have those suburb options, at least having those amenities within those small towns around the area. We have Beach Island, South Carolina, New Ellington, and not to confuse you, North Augusta, South Carolina. In North Augusta, you actually might find some of those amenities, big box stores, and other accommodations. If you are looking for that in-between, North Augusta might be exactly it. It's in between Aiken and Augusta, but it is in the state of South Carolina. Some unique amenities in that town include SRP Park, where they have Green Jackets baseball, and the seven mile paved Greenway Trail. Now, looking at the overall cost of living, Augusta, Georgia is actually 5.8% less expensive to live in than Aiken, South Carolina. I fell in love with the small town vibe in Aiken, but it's such an easy commute if I have to go shopping or I need something in Augusta. So I wanna know, 
What things have I missed on my list? Because I know I haven't covered it all. Have you visited Aiken? Have you visited Augusta? What do you like most about each location? I hope this video was helpful in comparing these two great towns. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Living in South Carolina.